YouTube, what is up? Let's talk about all the fish that you need to catch before the end of September. There are 23 fish going away at the end of the month, so if you don't have some of these, you're going to be busy. But let's jump right into it. First up, we have the crawfish. As you can see, the crawfish is available April through September. It is caught in the ponds, and uh, the good news is it is caught all day long, so you should be able to just, you know, search for it whenever you have some time. Next up, we have the soft-shell turtle. Uh, this turtle is, excuse me, caught in the rivers. As you can see, it is available August and September, and it is available from 4 p.m. until 9 a.m., so it is available most of the evening and uh, early morning hours, just not in the middle of the day. As we keep going, next up, we have the sweetfish, uh, also caught in the river. It is available July through September, and it is caught all day long, which should make that one a little bit easier to catch. Uh, the next two fish are actually available only in September, so I highly recommend you focus on them uh, just because they are only available this month. Good news for the salmon is is available to be caught all day long, and it is caught in the river mounts. Similarly, the king salmon, same situation, caught only in September, available all day long, and caught in the river mounts. So definitely focus the river mounts for these two fish. Uh, next up, we have the nibble fish. As you can see, it is available May through September. It is also caught in the rivers. This fish does have a pretty short active hours window of 9 a.m. until 4 p.m. So definitely want to target that one uh, as much as you can since it is uh, a small active hours uh, fish. Next up, we have the piranha. It is caught in the rivers, as you can see, June through September. And it has some interesting active hours. Uh, it is available from 9 a.m. until 4 p.m. and then again from 9 p.m. until 4 a.m. So keep an eye out for that one. Next up, we have the arowana. Same seasonality as the piranha, also caught in the rivers. And then uh, it is available from 4 p.m. until 9 a.m. in the morning. Next up, we have the dorado. Again, same seasonality, also caught in the rivers. This fish is available from 4 a.m. until 9 p.m. Next up, we have the gar, which is caught in the pond. Then, uh, seasonality again, same as Dorado. Uh, its active hours are from 4 p.m. until 9 a.m. So definitely keep your eye out for that one in the pond. It will be a larger shadow. Uh, next up, we have the arapaima, June through September, just like the previous fish we've been talking about. It is caught in the river. This will be a very large shadow and uh, its active hours are from 4 p.m. until 9 a.m. Next up, we have the Saddled Bature. Again, same seasonality of June through September, also caught in the rivers. This fish will have to be caught later at night from 9 p.m. until 4 a.m., so definitely uh, keep your eye out for those when you're playing later at night. Next up, we have the Clownfish, which is available April through September. These are caught at sea and they are available all day long. Next, the surgeon fish, same seasonality, also caught at sea and also caught all day long. These shouldn't be too difficult to catch. Next up, butterfly fish, again, same seasonality, same location, same active hours. Uh, you can see caught at sea, active all day, shouldn't be too difficult uh, to get one of those. Next up, we do have the puffer fish which is available July through September. It is caught at the sea, and it is also available uh, all day long. Now, the next set of fish that are going away, <clears throat> we have the marlin, which is actually going away just for October, and then it will come back again. Uh, good news about the marlin, you can catch it all day long. Downside, it is a pier fish, so these are uh, pretty tough to catch. The next fish are most of the sharks. They are all going away. As you can see, July through September for the ocean sunfish. It is caught at sea and does have an active hours of 4 a.m. until 9 p.m. Next up, saw shark, June through September, also caught at sea. All these fish, you will be able to see a fin in the water, so it makes them a little easier to see, but uh, still challenging to catch. The active hours for the saw shark are 4 p.m. until 9 a.m. Next up, we have the hammerhead, same seasonality, same location. Same active hours as the saw shark. <clears throat> so as you can see, hammerhead and the great white, these are all going to be caught in the same window, seasonality, and location. Um, so keep your eye out, really. You're just going to have to be looking for the fin in the water. 
One that's a little bit easier to catch is the whale shark. It is available all day long. Same seasonality as the other sharks, June through September, and it is also caught at sea. And the last fish that is going away at the end of September is the sucker fish. Again, same seasonality, June through September. It is caught out at sea, and uh, it is caught all day long. This fish also will show up with a fin on the water, so you'll probably catch a lot of sucker fish while you're trying to catch all of the other sharks. Now let me know which of these fish you have caught and also which ones you haven't caught. I would greatly appreciate it if you would subscribe to the channel and like the video. And uh, if you need help on any specific fish, I do have videos for all the fish on my channel. But with that being said, good luck and I hope you catch all the fish you need.